Hello folks, it's Jay from Dumpster Diving Live. Saturday, July 24th, 2021. I just had a little bit of window of time. Uh, ran out to get a few items for dinner, but got to shoot back pretty quick because it's going to be kind of an elaborate meal. It's only 2.30, but uh, I got to get back because it's a lot of prep time. So, going to be a shorty, and this will probably be the shortest one I've made. I don't know. I haven't went back and looked at all my 150 something videos, but I don't know what the shortest one is. But this might be the one because it's just a couple of stops I wanted to make. And then I got to get back home and take care of business there. Well, let's get to it. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we are at the triplets at you know where. And being Saturday, good chance these guys were emptied last night it looks like they were but a pretty high probability of hold up i got some yellow okay that one was empty as drum and had someone yelling across the parking lot i couldn't tell i can't even tell where they're coming from so no harm no foul but that was kind of odd All right, on to the net. Okay, I, I, mystery solved. I went back around to see if I was in trouble because someone was definitely yelling my direction, at least real close to me. But it was one person yelling across the parking lot to another person, something about loading a truck up. So it wasn't related to me. It was just close to me. I want to make sure, I want to make sure, you never know. They don't want me here. I'm not gonna be a troublemaker. So here we are at a, here we are at a, a, behind them, the plaza, a windshield, more wind. I see a lot of windshields in this place. And there's no windshield repair place here. Empty as drum, this Dollar Tree, a couple of little stores here. But that's about it. Uh, yeah. And boxes, boxes, and more boxes. And more boxes. There you go. All right. On to the next. All right, folks. We have pulled along. Oh, sorry. I almost dropped the phone. Pulled along. Aaron's out here. I've got a landscape right behind me, but shouldn't be a problem. This will be a quick peeky peek. Uh, same stuff still there. I guess it's just hard to fit in here. A swing and a miss, and a swing and a miss. Thought that was closed for a minute, but nope, that's trash. It's a rag sitting on top of it. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff to get rid of there. It'll be gone eventually, but not by me. All right, guys. Hey, I forgot, man. Look, I am slipping. I am so slipping. 93 degrees, a beautiful day, low humidity. Not a cloud in the sky. Man, really enjoying this day with the tribe, just hanging at the house in the pool, having a grand old time, guys. That's what weekends are for. So I am bothered a little bit by allergies, but uh, it's been a while, so no complaints there. But other than that, man, it's a beautiful day. So let's go check out the filthiest two dumpsters I dive at. Alrighty, that's full. Some kind of paint, I believe, or chemicals. But I'm, I'm gonna leave it because sometimes they are contaminated. If you drum there, if you drum here, and a little bit more stuff. Not a lot. That carpet, guys. I think the last video was rainy. He was here, and I was tempted. Still kind of tempted, but now I kind of see it. It was a little dark then too, if I remember right. I see it's a little, a little faded there. Uh, I don't want to open up, spread it all over here, to, right by the dumpsters, but still passing on it, still passing, but it's been there a while, it's so heavy out that no one's bothered to throw it in the dumpster, I'm sure, so I don't blame them there, but uh, maybe, maybe uh, the next trip or two, if it's still there, maybe I will cut them straps open and see what's in there. Okay, guys, this is the whole reason I'm coming over here, one of the trips for this, one of the reasons for this trip, Joanne. Haven't found nothing there in a while now. 
Let's see if my luck changes. See you in a sec. Alrighty, righty, folks, it hasn't. Nothing's new has popped out here uh, lately. Looking, looking, looking hard. I can tell, I can tell. I'm looking for my, I'm looking for my patterns, looking for my magazines. And any little electronic items. Very light, empty. All right. I thought that could have been a magazine. It is a box. Some kind of candy or something. No. A uh, swing and a miss. Okay, like I say, it's going to be a short one, guys. So, uh, we'll try to hit the other two down here, although it's early. It's 2.45 now. As mentioned before, I prefer hit these places, all of them, after 5. And this being a Saturday, really the same, same deal. Well, they keep even longer hours sometimes on the weekends, so... No worries, I may have to skip Mystery Dumpster if a bunch of Specs employees are out there. But we'll see. Just play it by ear. And why we're at PetSmart and why it's going to be, I'm planning on making a short one. I might as well open their enclosure and take a peek in here. And got a bin, some kind of Crash the liner bin? I don't know. Doesn't look broken, but I don't see the other part of the trash can, or I may be misreading that totally. Not bad, but again, the wife has told me no more bins or totes or buckets or anything, any containers. So uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, packaging material, the ubiquitous flies at PetSmart. And a little bit of wasted pet food, not a whole lot. That's probably from the last dump. And might as well peek into the recycle. Nothing over there. Okay. That was a swing and a miss. So, I'll drive by. I'll go, uh, gotta close it because I opened it. There we go. I want to drive by the mystery dumpsters. There's not a lot of employees out there. I'll peek in. Uh, just really uncomfortable when folks are so close and they are really close. Never said or done anything, but just never know why uh why tempt it okay i'll see you on the other side of that van okay no one else smoking or on their phone very rare very rare sometimes there's employees sitting out here in the cars um uh, but again they've never been before uh, just a bunch of empty trash trash and trash Oh, uh, curiosity satisfied there. And boxes. No trash over there. All right. Well, I'm going to think I can, I've got enough time for one more plaza. And we'll give it a shot. We'll see how this goes. I'll see you. Want to get. Well, we just had to change the plans here, folks. You see this traffic here. This is not usual traffic. It is due to either an accident or some other maybe possible construction, but either way, it is not good. And this is on the way to the next plaza I was going to. It's only a few miles down the road, but a few miles just turned into about 20, 30 minute trip. So I'm gonna get back off and I will go, I'll scratch that plaza. That was Marketplace Plaza. Although I don't have a package to ship, I was still gonna go check it out. Unfortunately, I don't have a package to ship. But now with the traffic, nope, don't have the time for that. So I will shoot off to the alternative one. And I tell you, I had a hard time just getting on the, uh, getting on the access road because folks were getting off the interstate because they were wait, had been waiting so long. Uh, they just finally giving up and tried the, uh, the access road. And a bunch of them were doing it and are still doing it. So there's still gonna be a wait even at the next one. You really don't need to hear all this. I just thought it'd be interesting to myself to kill some time in traffic. I will see you at the next. Well, 
here we go. Look at all the construction here, guys. They are turning this in. There's a car dealership next door to this building. And they have apparently bought this or leased it. And they are turning it into a showroom for that. Or an extra showroom or a bigger showroom. Not sure which, but that's what all the work is about. Took me a while to figure it out. But a, uh, an astute subscriber and viewer, an all-around good person, told me about it. So uh, got an illegal duck here. Uh, got a plush here. Uh, kind of a plush. He's one of those just kind of stands in the corner. I think he's very clean that def definitely will donate so yeah why not i think it's the only thing i'm gonna find so far so uh take it when you get it right guys i better put that in the back because i saw more here this box probably these two boxes a cookie pan or a, i can't wait i'm so tempted to take that looks like grease on there yeah because there's the grease uh I am so tempted to take that thing. Do a lot of bacon. Well, not, I can't say do a lot of bacon, but we definitely bake. And we need the big ones. Have a bag here. I don't know, guys. A lot. Ooh, dirty. And it does not pass a smell test. So, this whole box kind of sucks like that. Another plus one here, possibly. Yeah, little one there. Pretty cool. Pretty decent shape. Well, so far, Dalmatians and teddy bears are saving the day. That's always a good day. Again, that's for donation, guys. I have a ton of them I still need to donate. I'm tempted to sell some of them because I know they are, but they are worth money. But i going being lazy and not listening. So, I'm not even going to open this bag. I usually do. It's tied up pretty hard, pretty tight. There's clothing in there, but I tell you, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't pass the smell test, guys. So, I know some of this stuff can be washed. Uh, I don't know what that is. Well, I don't know what that smell is, but it's more than just a stale smell. It's a shame because it's like kids' clothes, children's clothing, or items, or maybe dolls, even dog clothing. I'm not sure, but disappointing to see this in here. That is very disappointing. Was that a Spidey mask? Well, that's a dog mask, a dog collar for a very small dog. I don't even think that'd fit our schnauzer. <laughs> maybe that's what's smelling. Maybe it's the dog smell. I don't smell it on that, oddly enough. So, uh, Put it back there with the plushes. And uh, I'd like to see what was in that other box over here. Again, time is uh, the essence at this point. And uh, I just don't know if I'm gonna have to go through. So, being the only thing I found today, you think I'd be very thorough about it. Is this bag in decent shape? Maybe the bag that's kind of smelling. There's a tear there and a tear there. I'm gonna let that pass. What's the dog? It's definitely a dog. You see the, the bone little mesh there? Some doggy bag. Just shredded inside. So no, thought that'd be cool for us to take to the beach for the schnauzer, but no, too shredded. Got some wood down here, you know me and my wood. Oh, there you go, a key holder. A key shaped key holder. That's clever. A little tiny little plush maybe. Dog. And there you go. Okay. A little dog. I don't know. Carrot? Oh, it's a bunny. Oh, it's trying to be a, trying to pretend to be a bunny. So there's my key holder. The little holders are a little bent and crooked, but no worries. Really cool. Wood too. Got like that. And the plush. So apparently he's disguised as a bunny. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something there. Let me know if I am. Surely I am. So, and here we go now. There, again, there's a full box there. So, we'll dig a little deeper. I'm not trying to pass heavy. Bag or something. Dude. 
waste of time, I think, concrete or some type of porcelain. What did say? Yeah, porcelain tile, tile mortar. No, thank you. I just made it dusty in here. I'm gonna open that. Thank you for the paint. There's some of these tubes. They opened up. And there you go. And make sure I'm not missing the rotor. But now he's broke. He's broke right in the middle. And yeah, there you go. So, if I can move this now out of the way, I'd like to try to see. Take a peeky peek at this one. There is some copper looking item here. Some mats are rubber and well worn. Let that go. I think that could be a yard ornament on his light. A couple of them are Christmas, and that shattered, and that one shattered. I can't see it, hard to see, but it's shattered too. So I'll try to stretch over here, just over here. Yep, bad camera work again. I'm trying to do it all with one hand, and as you can see, it's not going well. Leave the box of tear. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's uh, feels wet though. Not not bad pillows though. These are pretty pretty nice pillows. I don't know. Living, they're clean. They passed the smell test. So I'm not sure here, guys. Uh. It's a little dirtier. I'll pass this. This will be donated. Oh, I just pushed my box over. It's one of those, like memory foam pillows. So, uh, that'll be donated for sure. And, uh, let me get the box back. Then I pushed back. And some more pillows. It's hard to see the design. It's real shiny material. I don't know if they're coming. Oh, it appears from my seeing came the design on that came undone. It's kind of sewn. So this one, this one looks it's a little dirty. More dusty thing. Totally, absolutely forever. There you go. That'll get donated. Totally, absolutely. And let's see. And this last one here. Now it's a pair. I think that's a pair. No, no, that's not a pair. He feels wet. No, it's not wet. It's just heavy. Well, you know what? I'm probably making a run tonight to Goodwill. Anyway, actually, it's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. It'll be tomorrow, and it'll be at the uh, Women's Center. Uh, so I still haven't taken my wife's very large bag of items she got out of the closet so okay looks like a donation day that's uh, okay with me this cookie sheet yep that's definitely grease from one of those uh, squeezable tubes you saw in the first box and there's nothing wrong with you I just got to keep it away from the pillows so clean up and always use another cookie sheet cooking pan, whatever you want to call it. And there you go. So, now, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it, guys. So, uh, first time I found anything in this guy in a long time, but I see why. It's secluded back here. So, uh, it's uh, pretty often targeted for a uh, illegal dumping. But it's been a while. Okay. On to the next. Okay, I think I stopped it when I meant to start it, so it means I probably never stopped it, maybe? We'll find out when I go review it. Anyway, word burps. I've kind of slowed down coming by here. Can't say I've stopped altogether, but I've slowed down. And uh, because, and I always try to get more hangers, because they do sell, just sold some uh, a few days ago, a box of 100. And it was a uh, porch pickup, so real easy. She paid me through Venmo. Easy peasy. 
but first one in a while so they're slow movers and I've already got one of my uh, large sheds full and I don't really have any place else to put them so I have enough in the attic I really don't have okay I think I've totally messed up that last stop uh, anyway I just leaving birds because I uh, had a let's see what we've got here laying right on top hearts of a clip and some brass plain set I think one is still in there and yeah, this is just a clip still in the still in the container who knew laying right on top and that brass planer yeah he's in there oh they're coming in a set of three they're not real expensive I think 12 15 bucks or something for three that's kind of cool again I hadn't planned on coming by here guys that uh, traffic really just kind of threw my plans off so it happens uh interstate backs up fairly regularly gotta gotta be ready for it so uh harbor freight did i mention it uh, i don't know if i did or not but <clears throat> this will be my last plaza beautiful day we've been having a lot a lot of rain it's kind of nice to see it start drying out again no complaints we need the rain we always need the rain Especially during the summer, it's been a kind of so far a mild summer, so uh, no complaints there either. Okay, Dollar Tree and Harbor, uh, Dollar Tree and PetSmart. If there's nobody on the dock, I'll see you when I get there. Okay, first time in a long time I've been able to get out and look at Dollar Trees. The last few passes, they've been full, 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 and I didn't even want to touch the lid because I didn't want to cause a cardboard avalanche. And have to pick my mess up because that's what you do if you're a responsible ever so uh here we go okay nothing nothing there swing in a mess last stop big lots let's see what it's got all right i got a little close to the to the uh dumpster and kind of bumped that broken bottle look at there big lots swing in a mess empty as a drum well better better anyway because it is time to wrap it up like i said it's gonna be a short one and it's definitely a short one i'm just over 22 minutes so uh i'll wrap it up here guys and no trucks behind me this time so i can do it here all right guys that wasn't a whole lot but it was something so what i got here got the pillows for donation uh yep got those got the cookie sheet silly to you i'm sure maybe but them things aren't cheap so uh and that was a, one of those heavy duty ones too and here we go this is donation stuff here I already put back here for donation and some tools and whatnot but this is the other pillow oh i take it back that was part of donation too there's the plush one of them two of them come on guy show yourself there he is try to make that a thumbnail i'm trying to work on my thumbnails hopefully that'll happen maybe it'll work maybe not I've really got to work on that. And the little dog disguised as an Easter bunny? I have no idea. I mean, like I say, there's got some wood in the drive-by the other day. So, plywood. The plywood sheet, good enough. So, there you go. Okay. Not a whole lot, guys, but something. Most of it for donation. And uh, that's always a good thing. So, instead of going to the landfill, it goes to the people who need it. I'm okay with that. Okay, guys. You know the drill. Always wear your gloves. Be safe. Keep what you need. Sell what you must. And please, give what you can. Keep on diving.